So back again to talk about something gross related to chickens. So bumblefoot, it is typically caused by a staph infection on the bottom of the chicken's foot. It happens when they are um, either run around and their foot gets pricked or they get it pricked on their roosting bars and the infection is able to get in there and it causes a little bit of a cyst. So chicken pus is solid most of the time. So what you need to do, I'm gonna show you what supplies and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you're going to need to keep these things on hand if you have chickens in case you get bumblefoot. And I check over every single one of my chickens once a year during my MPIP inspection and I'm already handling every single bird because they're blood testing them. So I check them then. All right, this is what you keep on hand. Triple antibiotic ointment, the one without the pain reliever. Um, analgesics, the pain reliever in them, um, it can be toxic to chickens. They're very sensitive to it, so do not get the one that says plus pain. One inch gauze, the self-adhesive like sticky stuff. Non-stick pads, you're gonna cut this to size. Chlorhexidine spray. If you are in the medical field, you know what this stuff is. You can usually get it behind the pharmacy counter. You have to ask for it usually. It is effective against gram positive and gram, and gram negative bacteria. So good to keep on hand. It's a great antiseptic. And a pair of tweezers. So let me show you what we're gonna do. I was limping around a little bit. And let's look at the bottom of his feet. I'll show you what it looks like. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap him in a towel. Uh, it's going to keep him calm and still while I do the thing. So, here he is. Okay, so this is what Bumblefoot looks like. You see that, um, that spot? Uh, and he has it in both feet. So whatever he got into, he got into it on both feet. I don't get too much Bumblefoot around here, so it's interesting that he has it on both. So I'm going to wrap him. I'm going to lay him on his back on a towel in my lap. I know he doesn't want to do this. So if you just swallow them like a baby. I keep his, I like to keep their head out just so they can kind of see and don't panic. Soaked his feet in Epsom salt, um, warm water and Epsom salt for about 20 minutes to kind of loosen the plug. It's kind of gross. Um, and so we're gonna take it out and we're gonna bandage him up. So I'm gonna take the chlorhexidine solution I'm going to spray his foot.